Hello my friends and welcome to another video with me Steve England Outdoor Learning. It's 6.30 a.m. in the morning and what an happy gorgeous morning it is too and uh, I thought I'd give my dog a walk Teddy before it gets too warm and before I go to work and I'm just walking up <coughs> through this field and I noticed something so this is the next on the wild foods calendar guys what I'm going to show you now this is great I'll turn the camera around but look at a glorious morning, look, 6.30 a.m. Peace and calm, it's nice and cool. Anyway, so look, I'm just walking along here and I've seen this swathe of broadleaf plantain. Now I have filmed hundreds of videos on these anyway, but this is your broadleaf plantain. So it's not the leaves that I really want to film about, but in the world of wild foods, these plants produce seeds. These seed heads here, look, you see these? And there? That's what we're after. Now these are absolutely fantastic to eat raw. They taste like mushrooms. Um, you will get a little bit of a bitter hit initially and then the mushroom flavor kicks in. Hang on, let's get a better shot, there you go. That's what you're after there, the seed heads of broadleaf plantain. And they taste more of mushrooms than any mushroom that I could forage for you. They're absolutely incredible, but you get a bitter hit first of all, and then the mushroom flavor kicks in, but what a flavor, absolutely brilliant. Now, one of the things that we did a few years ago was we made up a um, uh, um, horseradish mayonnaise, and we use these as dippers, like that. And uh, so they're absolutely incredible. So that's the broadleaf plantain seed heads. They're just starting to flower now. Morning. Morning. Uh, so these are really good to eat. They're absolutely amazing, but obviously be careful where you get them from. I'm not going to pick them from here because of the dog's wee. And um, so I want to avoid that. That's plant number one. Plant number two is this one. I'll turn the camera back around. These are known as wild chamomile. And these aren't actually producing flowers, but these are called pineapple weed. Let's see if I can find one with the actual pineapple on it. You see these here? Hang on, where are we to? There we are, that's it there, look, there. That's pineapple weed. And they make an absolutely amazing salad addition or cordial. You can put them in a cordial or make a cordial rather. And they produce like small pineapples on them. And I'm just trying to find you one with a pineapple on. There's loads about. I just can't see one, but look, this is what we're after. Can you see the feathery leaves there? And they produce like little yellow pineapples on the top. And when you crush them and break them, they smell of pineapple. Oh yeah, wow. Even the leaves smell of pineapple. Whoa. Now these make absolutely amazing salad additions and cordials, a very, very refreshing drink with an ice cube and a nice cold summer drink. So there's the two plants next on your wild foods. I'm, um, I'm gonna be teaching here at Stoke Park on Saturday, I believe. That's the last wild food foraging course for a little while because I'm going to concentrate on other subjects. But there you go. So that's the broadleaf plantain seeds and the wild chamomile, also called pineapple weed, is out now. So happy foraging, guys. Take care. What a gorgeous day. Look at it. Look at that. Woo!